Welcome, fellow travelers of the cosmos, to one of the most elegant concepts in physics, the principle of least action, or PLA. Imagine the universe as a vast dance floor, with everything waltzing through space and time. The PLA is like the choreographer, dictating the most efficient and elegant moves for each participant. Our exploration begins with classical mechanics, the realm of falling apples and orbiting planets. Physicists relied on Newton's laws to describe motion, but there's a deeper, more elegant way. This is where the PLA comes in. Out of all possible paths, it chooses the path of least action. Next, we venture into the world of electricity and magnetism, where invisible forces create everything from a lightning bolt to the hum of a refrigerator magnet. Unified by James Clerk Maxwell's brilliant work, who gave us elegant equations of electromagnetism. Beneath Maxwell's equations lies the PLA. Prepare yourselves, for we are about to enter the mind-bending realm of Albert Einstein's general relativity, a theory that revolutionized our understanding of gravity. Einstein showed us that gravity is the curvature of space-time itself. And what governs this curvature? You guessed it, the PLA. Hold on to your hats because things are about to get strange as we dive into quantum mechanics, where particles can be in multiple places at once, and observation influences reality. The principle of least action guides quantum systems. Through the path integral formulation, it tells us which paths are most probable. Prepare to go deeper, my friends, into the mind-boggling realm of quantum field theory, where particles are excitations of fields permeating space and time, here, the principle of least action shines, providing a framework for understanding these fundamental fields. By applying it to this field, we derive the equations of motion for particles. Let's zoom out from the microscopic world of particles and fields to explore systems with countless constituents like gases, liquids, and black holes. Here, the principle of least action is the principle of minimum free energy. A system in equilibrium tends towards the state of lowest free energy, which corresponds to maximum entropy or disorder. Have you ever wondered why light takes the fastest path from one point to another? This is Fermat's principle. Light travels the path of least time. Fermat's principle is a special case of the principle of least action. By minimizing action, light minimizes travel time. Our journey takes us to the heart of stars, where matter exists in a superheated state called plasma. This ionized gas is governed by interactions between charged particles and electromagnetic fields, where the principle of least action is invaluable. By applying it, we derive equations governing plasma motion in magnetic fields. Prepare to be amazed, for the principle of least action plays a role in biology. From protein folding to cell membrane dynamics, the principle of least action helps us understand biological systems. Consider protein folding where amino acids arrange into a specific three-dimensional structure. This interplay between physics and biology highlights the universal nature of the principle of least action. Finally, our journey culminates in the grandest stage of all, the universe itself. The principle of least action shapes our understanding of the cosmos from its earliest moments to its eventual fate. In cosmology, it's crucial in inflationary models, describing exponential expansion right after the Big Bang. Its influence underscores its connection to the fundamental laws of nature. The principle of least action is a universal framework that unifies our understanding of the natural world. From planets to subatomic particles, it reveals hidden order and elegance in the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the principle of least action. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of physics.